how's it going? So I am back today with another curvy slash thick girl trying haul video. So today's video is going to be a little bit of a fun video. So I decided to do a nice little fall date night lookbook. So hopefully you guys enjoy the four looks that I have to show to you guys today. So today's video is actually sponsored by Nasty Gal and Magic Links. So I'll leave all the custom links down below guys. So any item that you see in today's video that you like, you can go ahead and click the link down below and make your purchase. Now if you're interested in seeing what I have to offer in today's video guys I would like you to stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, guys, so the first look that I created for today's lookbook was based on this awesome jacket that I picked up from Nasty Gal. Now, this jacket is definitely a statement piece look. When I saw it on the website, I was so in love with it. Now, this jacket actually came in two different colors. It came in the black and also came in like this nice tan kind of color. Now, I was looking for leather jackets for the season anyways, but then when I saw the long line a leather jacket, I was just like, I have to get this. Like, I have have to get this so this uh the skew and everything i'll actually leave everything down below per usual like i said i'll try to insert some of the items in the video for you guys just to make it easier so this jacket is the faux leather overcoat black and it's in a uk size 12 so uk size 12 converts into a us size 8 now this jacket is what i like to consider oversized so if you're going to purchase this jacket i would say size down like two sizes you guys know sometimes i'm between like a size 8 and like a 10 10 is kind of like I'm kind of fading away from size 10, US 10 now, so I'm kind of dipping into the US 8 and the US 6. So for me, this jacket is a US 8, guys, and it is so oversized. So I would say if you're going to purchase this jacket, size down two sizes. So I should have gotten this jacket in a US size 6, but the jacket, guys, is absolutely lovely. I actually made the entire look more dramatic with the black satin dress and this jacket just to kind of give it more of a dramatic look. I think that this is absolutely nice, and even though it came to me an oversized feel, I'm not mad about the oversized feel. And for the people out there that are vegan, this is not real leather, so you can go ahead and purchase it. It just adds a little bit more edge to the outfit, and the fact that it's oversized and it's a long line is just everything. It does have two real pockets in the front, guys, so you can go ahead and put stuff in the pocket. And the pockets are actually pretty, pretty deep. Now, it does have two buttons. Actually, it has like, yeah, two buttons in the front, but I don't feel like I'm going to button this. I feel like this is the type of jacket you, like, leave cocked open, show a little leg, you know, style it up. Initially, before I tried this jacket on I actually tried it on with a full leather outfit the full leather outfit with this is actually really cute so if you guys have like leather pants leather top leather boots like Doc Martens and style it with this jacket which I already tried it looks absolutely gorgeous so this jacket for me if you're someone that loves leather jackets and you want to purchase a leather jacket this season but you don't want to do like the crop leather jacket or the standard leather jacket and you're kind of stepping into different types of styles this long line jacket is definitely in trend it definitely gives you like a little bit of elevation with your style so all in all guys this jacket was a really really good pick like I absolutely all right guys so for look number two I went with the classic blazer dress now this color and style is definitely not the classic look that you probably thinking about but when I saw it on the website I was very intrigued I even went to Pinterest as looking for ways to style it up and stuff like that. So, you know, I worked hard when I found this dress. I was like, I got to find a way to style it. Now, I definitely would style this blazer dress with booties, but I did show you guys it differently. So, if you can find some booties that matches this, definitely go ahead and pair it off with booties because that will look really cute for the season. So, this blazer dress, guys, is called... It's called the Works A Treat Pinstripe Blazer Dress. I got this in the camo color in a size UK 12. So like I said, the UK 12 translates into a US 8. Now with this dress, the issue for me is it was too big on the waist area. So I can definitely size down to US size 6. Now even the arms on this one, they weren't tighter or anything. So I definitely know for a fact that it could have sized down to US 6. So keep that in mind when you're shopping on Nasty Gal, guys. Look at the size chart and kind of, you know, make a you know a good decision when it comes to the sizing but all in all guys I think that this is cute now this did come with its own personal belt but I just went in and added my own just to kind of you know bring my waist in a little bit more the belt that came with the blazer just wasn't strong enough to kind of snatch me in so I did go ahead and adjust it by adding my own characteristics to it now this dress is a nice dress guys it's very very sturdy it does have one button in the inside so you can close it up from the inside and it also has four buttons on the outside so you can actually close it up um 
from the outside as well the dress is a really nice structured dress and another thing I want to point out about this dress now the length that you see is the length that you're gonna get so this is not the type of dress guys because it is a structured blazer dress this is not the type of dress that when you're walking it's gonna slide up it's gonna give you all this ass cheek showing and stuff like that it does not do that guys so that's one thing about this dress that I do really really like is that if you're walking it's not gonna rise especially when it comes to structured items like this you don't have to worry about this so the length for me is perfect I don't think it's inappropriate or anything like that like I said if you do go ahead and pair this off with some over the knee heel boots or something like that it can definitely give you more of that fall less vibe so all in all guys I think that this pinstripe blazer dress on my skin tone the color went really well it's definitely easy to style up or style down you can actually wear white Balenciaga sneakers with this and make it look super casual and super kind of like retro chic so there's a lot of ways to style it let me know what you guys think but I think that this is super cute guys if I have I actually am going somewhere next week but you guys will see the vlog when I go next week so you guys will see that and I probably will take a picture with this one and post it on IG so make sure you guys follow me on IG if you have not alright guys so the third look is a combination look so both of the items came from nasty gal now the first one I know a lot of you guys are just going to go absolutely crazy about this top I am going to go ahead and recommend this top but I'm gonna recommend that you purchase this top in your size now you guys know I love the shoulders the puffy shoulders really nice detailed balloon sleeves or whatever it is when I saw this on the website and I realized that it was a denim texture I absolutely almost lost my mind now not only did this come in the dark denim color like this this actually came in another color which I'm gonna say was like a blackish kind of like off black kind of color denim so just starting off this is definitely a statement piece type of top now I did go ahead and pair this off with some nice split ankle leg type of uh, pants which is actually really trendy right now so this top guys for me like I said before I even get to the pants really Really nice now this top is called the corset with the program denim crop top now I got this one in the color blue like I said in a UK size 10 so UK size 10 converts into a US size 6 don't do that don't do it don't do it so with this one size regular because the denim for me was super tight you guys can see a lot of compression on my boobs and you guys know my boobs are pretty big so there's a lot of compression it is a corset denim guys so look at the description be careful it is actually a denim top so there's a lot of structure no stretch but all in all I was able to get myself into here it even does have a zip on the side so if you have issues you can zip yourself in and zip yourself out I did get some lip gloss in this one too as well <laughs> but it's really really cute guys um like I said I did pair it off with these super trendy pants that everyone has been wearing it's a nice kind of like legging style pants and it has the slits in the ankle area definitely looks really really nice with heels on so I want to pair it off with the heels I got these pants in a US size 8 and they fit really nice but I do feel like I have a lot of crotch area it's a little saggy for the ones out there that don't know how tall I am I'm five four and a half inches tall so I kind of felt like these pants were made for like a taller girl but all all in all, the outfit together in combination, a little handbag, which y'all know I'm not really like a handbag person. I'm more of a crossbody bag girl, but whichever way you wear it, I think with some nice black heels, the pants in the top with like the bob period was so cute so let me know what you guys think about the first three and which out of the first three is your favorite all right guys so the fourth and last look is probably going to be one of my favorite looks because it's super casual if you guys know me i don't really like to dress up like heels like all the time but if i am going on a date night or something like that and i want to wear heels most of the time i will but most of the times i'm pretty casual so i want to show you guys a look that's super casual so this is a two-piece set when i saw it on the website I already knew because the color the ribbed everything that was going to look slamming on the body so this is a two-piece set guys and this is called the ribbed knitted skirt cord set oatmeal in a size medium so this one is actually really cute guys I'm happy I got it in a size medium just because it does have good stretch but I didn't want it to be too too tight on my body so this is very casual guys I would wear a two-piece set like this with an oversized jacket long line jacket and some sneakers now the outfit is a very body con so the kind of sense of it is like huge jacket body con body underneath and then like some sneakers so it's kind of a mix of uh, styles but I love styles like this um 
even the first outfit I showed you guys is kind of similar. You got a lot of sex appeal under and you got like, you know, an oversized jacket or something like that. I really thought this outfit was super cute. Most of the times, if I'm on a date night or something like that, this will be the ideal look for me. Um, I just like to wear like tennis sneakers and like a skirt, a dress or whatever. So I thought in combination with this outfit that the two-piece set look absolutely gorgeous, guys. It is a nice soft rib material. It's not itchy or anything like that. It's very comfortable. And with this one, I feel like, you know, with this type of simple two-piece set, you can either style it up or style it down. You could wear it with like some sock booties. You could wear it with just about anything. So I found this to be something I would actually call like a statement for my closet. Just because if I really need to go out somewhere and I have nothing to wear and this is there, I could just put some heels on with it and keep it pushing. But you guys seen the way I styled it, kept it super casual, and that's more of my range. Let me know if you guys are feeling this last. Hey guys, so that basically wraps up today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's Tron haul. I want to say thank you to Nasty Gal and Magic Links for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are interested in anything that I showed in today's video, guys, make sure you go ahead and click the links down below and make your purchase. But do not forget, guys, to thumbs up up this video leave your comments down below subscribe and share this video with your friends and family people and i will catch you guys in a later one bye